course I did, but there is a mountain of other things involved here. Please, love, will you just go and sit down and hear Kane out? Please. Guys, get your breath back, okay? See, nice thing is, you're to a beach sprint. I can show Tim who the real wimp is. Okay, guys, we're gonna run to Julie. Last one there's right. Smile, go! Probably not the best influence on the boys. Are you kidding? You were great. Really? <laughs> Actually, I want to thank you. What for? Jamie's my son. Oh, OK, I didn't realise. Yeah, he was pretty badly stung last week. Not that you'd know it now. You're a natural. Oh, thanks. So you'll be inviting me back next week? Absolutely. <laughs> you make a great dad one day, Jack. It's a sad story, I'll give you that. It can't be easy. Trying to live your life looking over your shoulder all the time. Yeah. But there's just one thing that I don't understand. You came to Irene for help, yet you couldn't be honest with her right at the start. Well, we were just worried if we told her everything straight away, then she wouldn't help us out at all. Main thing was to get Ollie into hospital. So, um, what do you reckon I should do? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going down that track. That decision has to be yours and yours alone. The best I can do is walk out of here and pretend this little incident never happened. But I will guarantee you one thing. If Irene says yes, I'll make sure that kid has the life he deserves. It breaks my heart to see you and Kirsty living like this, mate. It really does. So good luck and give her a big hug for me, eh? As to you, you never mention this again, and neither will I. I wasn't here, OK. If Alf can come barging in like that, mate, the next person could be Colleen. Come on, you've got to get out of here. Yeah, well, you still haven't given me an answer yet. All right. Yes. But... On one condition. Anything to share? No. Alf, I'm not buying into this Morag business. I'd prefer you didn't. Good. I'm just here to work out. Can we not do this again? I'm a grown man. I can do what I want. Look, how many times do I have to say it? I'll see who I wish. And if I choose not to tell Morag everything, that's my business. Well, maybe if we didn't have what about your marriage every time we talk, I would ring you back. I don't really care what you think. It's my life, not yours. out by the back lanes. But love, do yourself a favour. When you come back, make it after dark. There's still a lot of people in this town who would recognise you in a flash. Look, does Kirsty really have to come down here? Yes, she does. That's the deal, love. She has to look me in the eye and say, I want you to take Oliver. All right, then just come with me now, or I can just get her to give you a call. No. It's not good enough, Kane. I want her here. It is way too easy over the phone or miles away from the reality of it all. I want her standing in front of me when she asks me. Love, this is a massive decision that you are making. I need to know for sure that you can both live with this.
I assume this is a follow-up. I get the message, Martha. Well, I've actually been thinking. Oh, advice first, thought second. Well, that fills me with confidence. It's just that, well, we never spoke about his wife. Then he's married, right? I thought maybe that would make you handle things differently. His wife is out of the picture. Ross told me she is not an issue. Are you sure she's not a problem? I'm sorry, where did all this come from? Nowhere, I... Uh, it just suddenly occurred to me and I wanted to make sure I didn't give you the wrong advice. But, hey, if you say everything's okay, then, um... Still, maybe it is time that you ask for details. You never know. Anyway, I've got to get back to work, but like I said, no biggie. Um, just maybe check. Bye. Irene, hi. Oh, hi. I'm here to see our resident cutie. Yeah, yeah, I sure am. Oh, he's such a lovely little boy. Hate to think what he's been through. I know, yeah, sure makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah. Did you hear about the intruder in his room yesterday? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Rachel told me. Um, I hope he hasn't been back. No, well, he'd be stupid if he did. He'd have to know we'd beef up security after his yeah. first visit. I actually wondered whether it might have been the person who dumped him having second thoughts. I, I wouldn't think so, Dal. I mean, surely he would have just taken him. I suppose you're right. How any parent could dump such a gorgeous child like that. They'd have to be desperate. Yeah, they would. <laughs> I thought I told you to finish this. I did. There's a whole lot of stuff not on here. Brenda, there's a page missing. You must have dropped it. Uh, right, I'll check. What's up your nose this afternoon? Well, it says anything is. Look, it's none of your business. It's none of my business. Why are you taking it out on me? <sighs> I'm not in love. It's just... I don't know. Something's come up that I can't tell you about. It's, it's got me a bit worried. It's nothing to do with any more eggs. No, 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 no. Is there something there I should know about? In the mood you're in, no. I'll take care of her and you take care of whatever it is. We're a bit of a shambles, aren't we? You said it. Ah, uh, well, that feels better. Good. Why the frosty reception? I was in the storeroom earlier when I overheard your conversation. Ah. Ah. Have you told Morag? I thought about it. I think you should. You sure about that? It's a lot more complicated than it seems. That's what I'm worried about. Look, I've been in a similar situation. I don't want any more going through what I did. You have to tell her. If she finds out herself, you guys are over for good. Look, if you could just tell Rory that if he wants to see me again, I'd be stoked. And if not, I'll always be here for him. Okay, thanks. Means a lot to me. Bye. Hey, you. I could do with a hug. Hey. How'd your day end up? Uh, next question, please. Don't want to talk about it. How was Nippers? It was great. It was, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Actually, it, it got me thinking, and, well, I wanted to have a talk to you. Take a seat. Please, no more serious conversations today. <laughs> it's not serious. Well, at least I don't think it is. Okay. Hanging out with the kids today, it was fun. It was really fun. And it was rewarding. And I know that this might seem as though I'm jumping from pillar to post, given a few things that I've said lately. I've realised that I really want to be a dad. I've thought about it all day and it's what I want. And I'm thinking, what are we waiting for? I um, thought you said you were going to give me some time. Can I come in? Please? I haven't been completely honest with you. It's time I told you the truth about my wife. I'm pregnant. We're gonna have a baby! 
figures it out. You're pregnant, right? And you think the baby could be mine. Secrets tear at emotions. And new beginnings. No, no, no. Threaten to crush their dreams. Please, please look after him for us. And shatter their very future. I love living here. I had a proper home and I had a family. Can they rebuild their lives? Summer Bay is my home. I want it to be Ollie's home too. Home and Away continues next week.